What's up guys, this is going to be a basic tutorial on how to configure or set up your Google Authentication on your React application. So first, head over to console.cloud.google.com, go to your projects, and click on New Project. Next, enter your application name or project name. You don't have to put an organization because it's optional. Click on Create, and then you'll have something like this on your dashboard. Go to your search, type in OAuth Consent Screen. Okay, once you're on this screen, please select External so that any user can register or log in when you use this authentication. Click on Create. On the next page, you'll be asked about your project's application name, your developer contact information. Hit Save and Continue. So on the next part of the page, click on Add Keyword, select the first two on the select bar, and you'll notice that on your uh, scopes, you'll have it there at the bottom. Click on Save. Now we can add test users. For the meantime, I'm going to add my email here. Click on Add, and then you'll see that it's already at the bottom as well. Sign in. Next, click on Credentials on the left, and from here, this is the most important part. You'll get to have your Authentication Client ID. Okay, just enter your authorized uh, location. It's uh, for the default. It's going to be localhost colon and then three thousand. The same goes for that one. Click on Create, and you'll have your OAuth client created, your client ID and your passphrase. Head over to your React application, and once you're here, make sure to npx create React app client, and then go to your client folder, install gapi-script react google-login. But just in case your installation has failed, please use the codes below. Say npm install react dash google dash login legacy peer dips or your set legacy peer dips to true so that gapi scripts will be installed all right let's go to your app.js file remove the unnecessary files because we're not gonna need that let's add a component let's type in the login.js file and then the logout.js file from your login, please import Google Login from react-google-login and then declare a cons uh, variable for your client ID. Now paste here the code for the login. I'll have this one pasted in the description. Now um, if you click on the login button, you'll have an on success function and then on failure function. So we'll just have to paste it here. Don't worry, I'll have it pasted in the description as well. Once you have that, export default login. Now head over to your logout. We'll do the same. Import Google Logout from react-google login and then put your client ID. That's the one that we've taken before, if you remember. And then on the logout success button, enter a cons or a function for it. Now on your app.js file, Go back, import log, uh, login and logout button components. We'll also use use effect and GAPI. Add in your client ID. And then let's use the use effect function. I'll also include the source that I've taken the codes from so that you'll have a reference. So make sure you'll have this use effect variables entered and then from the return let's put in the login button and then the logout button okay let's start the file you'll see that when you click on the login uh, button you'll be prompted with this window it means that it's working now once you're logged in inside the console or the inspect element you'll see that i'm already logged in and then if you click on logout you'll say, or it will say, it's logged out successfully. And there you have it. 
you have a full working Google Authentication function. Thanks again for watching.